Hello and welcome back to uh, City Skylines. I'm Wolf and this is Rebuild of San Cruz. You see here I'm not starting with uh, some uh, panoramic uh, overfly here. I'm just gonna get right into building. This is uh, episode 15 and you see I'm gonna rebuild the area around here because I really don't like this way this looks. And I have this big empty area here, so I'm going to move some things over here and also put all the rails in uh, surface at the surface and rebuild the highway a little bit. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to start with the uh, taxi depot, we're going to move this a little bit. That's a waste transfer facility, it can't be... Oh, we'll just delete it with... I can move it or just delete it with... We move it here, ah, we delete it, we'll put it in. All of these things will be put in uh, a little bit better later on. Oh, here's Wolfie, come on Wolfie, wake up! It is time to play. Yeah, and... Uh, we moved that one. Ooh, that was a loud noise. Yeah, we are. I have uh, upped the sound a little bit on the special sound effects, but I realized that uh, the only actual music I have for this game is uh, the gold FM, and you're not allowed to uh, have that in anything. So, what I'm going to do is move this arena to over here. On the other side of the tracks, because I want some uh, parking lots and things for that. And I also realized that this really nice looking underground parking garage is actually a road maintenance and not a garage. But uh, anyway, <coughs> I'm going to put in some uh, parking here to the right of this arena. And uh, move uh, some stuff. I'm gonna move this school to. Uh, we will put it here in the meantime. And uh, these things are gonna be moved over to um, this area here. I'm gonna take this and uh, get a road in. Get one of these paths in here. And we're gonna have to take away the that one. No, not that. Like that. We, now we can move it. This uh, university will probably get rebuilt yet another time. I don't know if I do it on or off camera, but uh, anyway. <coughs> and we'll put this one here for the time being. I think I'll never really get satisfied on how this city actually looks. So there'll be... we don't have any water there, I don't know. And this is the science center. Yep. Um, I realized after now that I've recorded this all that... That is uh, both, both the science center and the uh, expo there got placed in areas where I sh actually weren't gonna have them later but I will move them so we have that waste <laughs> that uh, so I'm taking away this uh, parking lot here okay that's weird yeah to uh, this will be the where the train tracks are going so there'll be a lot quite a lot of changes around here Oh, yep, yeah. I will put in some more trees later on. So, and uh, this road is uh, was uh, a kind of a problem because I couldn't have it like that. And uh, I wanted the road there, 
but what I had to do was uh, raise it up just a little bit so that the train tracks could go under it and over it and uh, oh yeah here you see uh, I I thought I was recording but I wasn't and uh, this is how it looks when I was finished and then I realized it watching me do this one more time maybe wasn't that interesting so this is uh, how it looks when I'm finished with it and uh, right now I'm gonna put in put in the parking lot here for the for the for the arena uh, let's see parking lot roads they are here uh -huh. <clears throat> and I'm think I'm gonna move the those uh, treatment plants later I just have to find a place to put all the treatment facilities in the city that would be another episode where I just move all of those to another place and then probably this parking lot will get rebuilt also you do you know that is like a lot of things uh, you build one thing and then after a while you get another idea and rebuild it again that is why this series is called the rebuild because I const constantly rebuild everything I rebuild especially this <laughs> train area that's like the third time I think that it's getting rebuilt yeah and this parking lot may not be, not be completely but uh, yeah, it looks all right, so it will be fine. And those trees didn't like the. Uh, yeah, you see that where I, where it's polluted, but the palm trees actually look a little bit better. And hopefully, uh, while the game has been uh, running for a couple of years, all that pollution will be will have disappeared once I move those treatment plants from there. Gotta remember to do that. I'm here putting in some uh, some trees to just make it a little bit greener in this area. There's a lot of land that is actually not able to be used for anything else. You might as well plant trees there. And to uh, act like a sound barrier from the highway and uh, Soaking up the pollution a little bit from the road. But that's uh, always a good thing, I think. Oh. So, uh, and it looks a little bit better also with that greenery. And now I'm gonna put in some uh, some more buildings here in this area around here just some commercials and you see all these uh, abandoned buildings flashing because I realized that I had forgotten to download the abandoned build no ab abandoned building mod I have done that now but uh, and replaced all the buildings that I got an abandoned in the areas I have built so but I didn't really feel like doing that in uh, areas where I actually have, haven't built yet. So that will be taken care of when I uh, get that was elevated. Not supposed to be that. I, I will get to that once I get to those areas. Or I will fix it a little bit off camera in some of the areas where the, when, I, when I won't build. Putting in some more palm trees here along this. I also realized afterwards I probably should have had a path going from the parking lot up to the arena. So they don't have to walk around the sidewalks there maybe. But uh, that will be... 
and then I thought how how I was gonna do that. Am I gonna put uh, just uh, uh, like this? But uh, didn't think that looked very nice, so uh, I put in this ruin texture that to hide the pollution just in this piece. Uh, as I said, I will move these uh, treatment facilities. So the parking lot will be rebuilt again. <laughs> and uh, now I'm planning to put in some commercials around here. Because I think that will be suitable. Uh, but first, I am going to take away this farm. Because it's not going to be here. It's going to be in another place. Come on, Yeah, yeah, you get your murder. And uh, I'm gonna extend this this area here a little bit. As I said in the episode when I built this, that this development is, uh, is gonna be a little bit bigger. So that's what we're gonna do now. Extend this. Uh, area here and That looks weird. There you go. I'm just uh, copying the houses and putting them out. And I also realized that's, that there was a slope here, as usual. And uh, I actually didn't fix it during this episode where the houses go very deep. But I, uh, I did it later off camera. Seeing me fiddle around with the uh, move it like that isn't really the point. Just want to get the uh, general feel of the area here. Now we'll also put in some parking lots later. Oh. To um. So in the next episode I will uh, get a little overview on how this area ended up looking. In, uh, when it was f completely finished. Uh, of course I'll put in some playgrounds and... Uh, might be school here also and then uh, some trees and things like that and that uh, medical center will definitely not end up there if i have to find a good place for it so now i'm gonna find get some some uh, commercial here and it would not be like this huge buildings like in downtown or just a little extension of this Smaller commercial area here. <clears throat> Let's move in this just a little bit to get it here. Yeah. And uh, I think that was pretty cool with those buildings there. And here I am putting this building over the entrance to the to the subway there, because I think in these kind of areas you don't. It's pretty common to have a, to have a, the entrance to the subway inside the building. I know I've done it before. So and I think. Uh, that building fit pretty good. Just looking for some buildings to put in. And move, moving them to form the way I want it. Yeah, I'm trying to find the uh, other side, but uh, I'm not. Uh, just couldn't find it. I don't know if I don't have it or anything like that. So I decided to put another building in there. To uh, sometimes you have this that uh, there is an old building and then you just demolish part of it and build build other buildings beside it. There are a lot of examples of that around the world, and I just wonder what I'm going to do with this one. So I just moved it here. Uh, it may not be that fitting with a huge statue in the middle there, but. Uh, 
they might have had some kind of reason for having it there, and uh, it was just a good place for it, I think. Or maybe not. But anyway, I, I think so, and this is my city, so I decided. <clears throat> and this is uh, yeah, kind of a little how it looked there, I'm thinking you know, I'll probably extend this, do a little bit more in this area here and move, move these treatment plants. And here you can also see a little area view of how I uh, changed it a little bit. And then I thought I was some I need to do something with this area. And it was also that uh, there was for this area here there was really no park area for any of this. So I thought that my well why not put in a big park here? And I, th I thought, what am I gonna do a norm with this, uh, with the park or with uh, this? But I thought that maybe just put in some of these uh, big parks here and combine them into a bigger park. Maybe I will uh, extend this a little bit later with putting in some assets inside here and things like that. But I think that. Or splicing them together like this, it actually turned out pretty cool with the roads combining and things like that. It actually turned out pretty cool. Might uh, put in some other assets inside there later on. <coughs> and just extending the roads from this one so that we can access it from other parts. And this one just didn't quite reach there, so put in a little bit of a road there. Into that playground there. Have actually, two playgrounds in this park. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And here I decided to put in uh, that I should have a school because it's not really that. Good coverage in this area, you see. And uh, there are two schools pretty close to each other over there. So I, I took away one of them and uh, put in another. In that empty area. You see the, uh, there, the two schools are pretty close together. And I thought I'd be putting in this one. I thought, hey, do I have another one? Yeah. And I uh, thought that this might be a pretty good area for... For this school, even though I have it in another place, you might as well put it here too. And uh, take away that one. You see that uh, since I have the game paused, it didn't update the catchment area. But I think that this school will more than enough catch it. Then I saw that it clipped a little bit there, so I just moving, will be moving it just, uh, not like that. We'll move it, move it just a little bit. To get it off the sidewalk, like that is perfect. And then I uh, thought that you have to be able to access this parking lot, so I uh, no snapping. Draw a road like like that to uh, <coughs> so you can access the parking lot. And uh, I think that uh, turned out pretty good. It's kind of cool that it's on a slope, you see. And here I put in some... Uh, I was thinking of maybe a playground or something like that. The playgrounds are pretty big. There I know that there is one, but I just couldn't find it. And then I realized that there is actually one between those buildings there. So... Uh, a playground... The wasn't good, but the climbing frame might well, be pretty good here. Fun for the kids to play in. And uh, no, might put in some of these somewhere later. The plaza, no, no plazas. 
I don't know what that is. That's kind of some kind of plaza too and shoreline walkway. No, not. <laughs> but here I have uh, the. I have the basketball court. Well, that one is way too big. I'll probably put that somewhere in the city. So I put this uh, basketball court. I think that is something that they might have at a school. And I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, you see there that I have a playground there also between the buildings. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the school and the park. I know that there was not much of building during this episode and not much actual progress anywhere, I think. But uh, sometimes you do this episode, sometimes you do uh, when you really rebuild anything and you see all these flashing abandoned buildings. You see our inside areas that I haven't really done anything with yet, but I will do later. And, uh, oh, yeah, you see where... But uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, just show what I've done a little bit. And I was thinking to uh, first to end this episode with a ride on the train. But uh, the trains hasn't really fixed themselves yet. There are a lot of weird trains ro rolling around and things like that. So I thought, or if I was going to do anything at all. Or just end the episode here, but then I thought that well, I might take a tram ride. If that's a good idea, take a ride on one of the trams in the city. So that'll what uh, we will do. I have speeded it up a little bit, so it's about twice the actual speed. And as you, as uh, we are, we are starting here on tram line three on uh, Pine Street is the stop. Is this stop? And uh, we are uh, now heading towards uh, Crawley and Reed. I have just named the stops after the intersection roads. And this uh, this tram is now passing through one of the areas that I haven't built yet. And you see that there are a lot of people at these stops. Because uh, every time I start the game they accumulate and they... But there really isn't a tram coming <laughs> before. And... Uh, we're heading through one of these areas that I haven't built anything with yet. And uh, so these roads will be a little bit adjusted. Here we come to Cooper and Terry. Yeah, I know, it's the game that have uh, named the streets. So it's not me. And as you, as you can't uh, actually name them. But uh, this stop is uh, Williams and Terry. But you can't actually name the stops in uh, in City Skylines tram, which is a little bit boring. So it's just in my imagination that this is the names of the stops. So the next one that we're coming up to after here is uh, named Webb and Nancy. Those are the two roads here. Webb Road and Nancy Avenue. <laughs> the game is weird. So, uh, the next stop that uh, we will come to here will be uh, Robert Dixon and the Harvey. There are smoke coming out. This uh, will probably get adjusted. It's a very steep slope up there. And I'm going over the round, in the middle of that roundabout there. I think that's a pretty cool thing. And here we're coming up to uh, San Cruz uh, Institute of Arts. Is it right behind us there? You can change for the subway. I was a little bit late there. And the next stop, uh, we don't stop at this one, but uh, the next stop is uh, San Cruz Technological Institute. That is coming up here, straight ahead. This is the only one that serves this. There is no subway here for this one. And uh, the next stop will be uh, San Cruz uh, Central. And this is, of course, uh, we can change to all, 
all the other tram lines and subways and monorail and uh, local trains and uh, regional trains and everything. And uh, now we're going uh, towards the the last stop. That is uh, couldn't just figure out what I was call it, but uh, other for the trams or. But I decided to call it Hamilton Park South, and then I put in a stop. So, have a nice day. And uh, see you in the next episode. You see here that I put in a stop. Yeah, I know. Start talking. But I put in an uh, entrance to the park also in this uh, at this location. But um, this will be the end of the episode. Once again, have a nice day.